Oh, yeah, baby, it's here. It's here, baby. I'm not talking about the toy. I'm talking about the I Just Want a Toy Hunt Everyday shirt up on the merch site if you guys want to get one. Link is down below. But you know what we're here for. We're here to open up this bad boy. And boy, don't tell Hun that I bought this because, uh... <laughs> oh, you guys better watch the crap out of this video because it's definitely not making back in revenue. You blew it! Alright boys, we are coming to you with another toy review. Now in today's toy review, we are going to be taking a look at the unofficial 1-6th scale damn toys figure. Now they did release this in a, or they did announce this in a 1-12th scale, you know, 6 inch. I would say majority of collectors uh, that at least watch me because, you know, we all collect 1-12th uh, scale, you know, 6 inch action figures. But, Leon being a lifelong character that I, I really enjoy. Damn, this box is really big. I gotta pull the car camera back way back. Uh, I didn't mind having him in 1 6th and 1 12th. I have the 1 12th scale pre ordered. It's been taking over a year and I've heard no updates. You blew it! Let's take a look at this. This is unofficial. Leon S. Kennedy from the remake of Resident Evil 2, which I did enjoy, but obviously, you know, the original is always better, in my opinion, just from nostalgic uh, reasons. Oh, he has a window. Oh, okay, Let, this is pretty cool. So it shows you who made it. I don't know if you really want to rat yourself out. Uh, I don't know if you want to rat yourself out, but I think in, in the other, all over the world, I don't think they have the same uh, copyright laws that we do here in America, so. Hey, head, headshot. Um, I think they're allowed to get away with uh, <laughs> copying our IPs. Even though, is this technically Japan's IP? I don't know, I don't really care. As long as I get my toys, I'll buy them from anyone who wants to make them. Damn, now, son. Now let's take this guy out of his, oh. Okay, stuff is just popping off all over the place. Oh, there's a base. Okay, let's take a look at his base first. All right, now here's a base, and it seems like it, e it even comes with these sides uh, over here. Um, eh, it's not even that much, it's just cardboard, and it's not, it's just the RPD sign. Not that nice, it's not even super high quality print, it's not worth me taking out. It does have cardboards on the side, so it looks like you probably just get like a little stand thing. Oh, that might look good in the detolf. maybe if I set this guy up in my detolf, I'll show. Okay, so all the way at the back, ew, that yellow old toxic factory tape, ugh. That's the one thing I don't like about buying from the bootlegs is, uh, you know, this unsafe working conditions are not a factor there. Even though I'm sure in, you know, with Hasbro and Mattel, they, they aren't really caring that much either. Profit over everything, boys. So we have the stand. Let's take this out. I never usually use a stand, but maybe I will for this because, uh, why the heck not? I, I paid for it. I, I, you know, tap down in there. It says Leon S. Kennedy. Uh, oh, Capcom, it says on the bottom, I'm pretty sure this isn't licensed, so that's pretty funny. Okay. Now, this could have had something, maybe if you, like, uh, three, you know what, my wife has the Cricket, Hun has the Cricket, maybe I'll get the Umbrella logo with vinyl stickers and put that on here. That might look, just spice it up a little bit. There's two trays, oh my god, guys, please bear with me, I've never had this big of a, uh, or this much to talk about, so... There's two really big trays, and let's try to get them before we open them. Let's try to get them. Look, so this is underneath. This is all the weapons. This is even more weapons. This guy is filled with weapons. That's why I really think it makes the price point uh, worth it, even though I would have liked two heads for him. I think every Hot Toy should at least have two heads. You know, the grunting face, because the 112th scale, the 6-inch version, has two heads. I bought the deluxe, but this is really cool. So let's take a look at his weapons first. Alright, so now that all the weapons are out, whoa, okay, the, now you really do feel like you get your, your money's worth with this stuff. There's all these little parts that are totally unnecessary, but that are uh, appreciated. So, this has like the little, the viewer comes out, it's on a hinge right there. Uh, these grenades come out, or you know, I, I'm guessing this is how you load it. Uh, believe it or not, I am not a uh, grenade Oh, wait, inside, well, I'm pretty sure, wait, can this come out? On the inside, it looks like the grenades are in there. Uh, this is a grenade launcher, a rocket launcher, I'm pretty sure. Um, I, you know, I am not a, pro a professional weapon, weaponist. 
Weapon, we weaponists. This is probably the Matilda, I'm pretty sure it's called. And this is like Leon's famous weapon. Uh, this has, can this come off? Yeah, this could come off. So you, it's like the upgrades. That's one of the coolest thing in my opinion about Resident Evil games is you can upgrade the weapons with all these uh, like extras throughout the, the game. It's just, they're just a lot of fun. They're on multi levels. Um, this was always growing up. This was always my, uh, I always really enjoyed this. Now, I don't want to break it. So I can't get it, and I'm not trying to break it, but th this does come with two clips. So now you could uh, unhook it right there, and this clip comes out. And then there's an extended clip, which is nice because you do always upgrade in the games to uh, more bullets. And then we have, does this clip come out? Of course it does. So then we have another pistol, and um, the clip also comes out. Now, I am not a, uh, a marksman, so I don't really know any of these weapons. I don't know their official names, uh, but I do appreciate them. Uh, let me see. I don't know, man. These are just really... Oh, look at that. It's got the shoulder. I don't know any of them. I'm not even going to try. I don't even know any of the names. It's got... Oh, wow. This comes off. All right. So these these guns are almost all customizable, as you do in, in the game. You know, this the scope comes off on the top. Uh, I'm sure this clip comes out. I'm not trying to break it. There's these little hooks for everything. Uh, the shoulder guard comes out right there. Very cool. Then this is, I always remember Leon with this shotgun. Has the pump right there. Very cool. Look at this. Oh, look, it opens right there so the, the shell could pop out. With the All of them come with these like harnesses so you could have them on him, which I will be doing. And then another shotgun. This is a larger shotgun. Um, this is like more old-fashioned looking. Again, with the strap. And then he has... Oh, he has a few more things. Okay, so he has his belt with pockets and pouches where we're gonna be... We're gonna have to put him together. Comes with this flashlight, with, which is very detailed. Look at that. It looks like there's actually a bulb in there. Imagine it worked. That would have been like... And it worked, a little mini flashlight. Uh, we have handcuffs, you know, in case any zombies act up. He's gonna have to handcuff them. Uh, poor rookie, man. Leon, rookie Leon never got to work uh, for humans, at least. Look, he has the uh, handcuffs with the pouch that you put him on, and I'm sure that this clips onto his pouch. Now, these are really cool. These are little uh, shotgun shells. And they're actually in there, so it's the box, but then you could like take them out and their shotgun shells are actually in there like toys. Maximum standard. Yeah, and these are like from the game, so if you could look at the, the designs on them. Handgun, ammunition, cartwright, very cool. It's got the ammunition right there. Look, it even has like a sticker that even, look, like a price tag on the back right there. Very cool. Details all over the place. These are really nice. Like this makes you want to make a diorama. So you could just hide these on a barrel or something, wherever you find weapons in, uh, I was gonna say Harry Potter. This is definitely not Harry Potter. Let's take a look at the other accessories. All right, now we have more accessories. He has his uh, walkie-talkie with even like a little band on it. Like the accessories on this is really worth the money. Again, we should have got another head. Clips on both items so you could clip them onto Leon. First aid spray, which is amazing and accurate. I remember seeing this in the items box. Look at that. He has a flash grenade. Yeah, that's a flash. Ex yeah, flash. Um... I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's for his knife. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the knife goes in here, I'm guessing, or maybe not this one, hold on. This one looks like it goes to this. So you could smash open some boxes. I don't know, it seems like it goes in there, but I'm not trying to break it. So you have two knives, very nice. You have a grenade. Again, all these have like little pins and hooks on them, really, really small details. Um, he has two hands that looks like a thumbs up, but I'm pretty sure that's probably not a thumbs up It's just holding something uh, He has a like underneath coddling like a weapon hand right there. That's interesting only two hands So that means there's two sets of hands. He does come with extra pegs, which is really nice Not even official releases come with them. I'm guessing these are hand pegs. These look like maybe hand pegs so small that I don't know how they're gonna do this in 1 12th scale. He has the room keys. Buy my merch, 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 buy my merch. These are so small, man. 
It's crazy. All right, now he comes wrapped like very well. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect head sculpt. Do you know how important that is, guys? I don't know about you guys, but the head sculpt is so important to me. That's like make or break, especially if there's a likeness involved. Like if it's a comic book uh, adaptation, oof, there we go. Okay, hold on, so I'm gonna have to take let me take all this plastic off because I might need to concentrate on this. I'm not trying to break anything. Now, these hands look like, feel like they're very well in there. Um, what you might want to do is these extra joints, you might just want to pop these in here. And when you swap out the, the hands, you just swap the whole hand and the joint. That just might be what you want to do. That's probably what I'm going to be doing because it's very fragile and uh, I'm not trying to mess around with that. Uh, oh, we gotta get the plastic off his neck. Can you breathe, Leon? That is great, dude. That looks just like the remake. Um, wow. I'm trying to look in the camera and trying to look... Uh, I'm trying to look in the camera and trying to look at it myself. Really happy. Uh, he always had his head kind of tilted f in the front. There you go. That's more like... Ooh, emo, bro. When I was a young boy, my father took me into Raccoon City to see the zombie land. I don't know. Guys, please hit the like button for my great singing. So now we have to suit this dude up. Oh, Leon, bro, don't take a dive, please. Please don't take a dive. Doing reviews of these <laughs> these bigger figures with a ton of accessories are very awkward, but um, I think this is how I'll have him for now, and I'll probably swap him out and stuff like that because Resident Evil 2 was mainly in the freaking dark. That was my one complaint. Um, I think they did that just to add a little bit of to scare you a little bit because I, could, I I don't know about you guys. I couldn't see a damn thing that was going on with that flashlight in every if every spot. That's why I like the other games. There's not really a lot of uh, flashlight action. Uh, what do you guys think with that one? That's more of a video game critique, but I still enjoyed it. And again, it's just a remake. I got it for 20 bucks. You can't really complain. Uh, this figure is really nice, super articulated. You know, it has those one uh, six scale bodies underneath that are just super articulated. Really nice um, arms, double double everything, butterfly joints. Like you can get every pose pretty much in this. I do like him on the stand. I'm gonna keep him that way. Maybe I'll make a custom diorama backing. If you guys didn't know, I do dioramas on this channel. You can go back. I have a whole playlist. But maybe I'll make a little like stars office or something for the background and put the, the shells and all the, the accessories all over the place scattered. Uh, you know, like put him, put some first ki first aid kit on him. We didn't get an herb. We didn't get an herb, which is interesting. But uh, yeah, a, an extra head I think would have really been good. But with all the other accessories, it kind of sounds like I'm complaining. You know, like it's spoiled complaining. Now this is going to run you two to three hundred dollars plus. Uh, now they're very hard to come by because everyone's in the you know Resident Evil mode with Village and everybody's like showing him off. So I think finding him is going to be very scarce right now unless they're restocking and I don't know about it. But good luck everybody. Definitely check him out. There is a 112 scale coming. I know that's up a lot of your alleys much more than this 1 6 scale stuff. But uh, let me know what you think. And yeah, if this one's all over the damn place, this was a hard figure to review. It's large, it doesn't fit in the camera, it's got a ton of accessories. Let me know down below. Check out my merch, I got new merch. Uh, join up to become a channel member. I'm gonna need it, man, to recover from this. Uh, please watch the video on loop. Uh, you know, send super chats when I'm live. Help me recoup from this, it wasn't cheap. But uh, that's all, it's all love, guys. Stay great, love you all, peace. We outta here. Leon!